Hey guys, it's Will. We are at Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona, Spain. Behind me you see the NVIDIA booth. Kind of want to give you guys a look at the booth, give you a lay of the land, so follow me. All right, so we are at the NVIDIA Grid Cloud Gaming Station, and what you see behind me is a 55-inch LG Smart TV. It's a smart TV, so it means that it can run apps, and what we've done is we've created an NVIDIA Grid application on the TV that connects to our grid servers. Each grid server is packed with 12 GPUs capable of running 36 concurrent gaming sessions, so it kind of works like this. We have our mobile device, our HTC One X, connected to Grid. We have our tablet, our Asus uh, Tegra Power tablet, connected to Grid as well. And we have a game controller connected directly to the TV. So, picture this, you'll be gaming on the TV with your controller, but you need to go somewhere, so you pause the game, save your game state, pick up a mobile device, like say the tablet or the phone, restart the game, and you're gonna resume right where you left off. And that is NVIDIA Cloud Gaming. Project Shield is our Tegra 4 power gaming device and uh, what we've done is we've taken a 5 inch touchscreen and we've made it into an ergonomic game controller and thanks to Tegra 4's custom 72 core GPU we can let you take your games on the go whether that's Android or your PC games Project Shield makes that happen. Here we are at the NVIDIA Tegra mobile experience station and we're showing off the streaming capabilities of Tegra 4. The way we're doing that is, you might have noticed, we have a big old 80 inch TV behind me. That is a 4K TV. That's 4,000 pixels across. That's a lot of data to have to drive. So what we're doing is we took a Tegra 4 reference tablet and connected it via HDMI to this big screen TV and Tegra 4 is pushing a 4K video both onto the little display on the tablet and the big screen that you see behind me. We're at the Tegra 4i station and we just announced Tegra 4i. That's our first chip to integrate 4G LTE. So what that means is you get an application processor and connectivity to 4G LTE cell towers all in one chip. We're demonstrating that on Phoenix, which is our Tegra 4i reference phone. It's packed with, of course, the Tegra 4i processor the 5 inch full HD display, stereo speakers, 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, and it uses our Prism 2 backlight management technology. And that all adds up to amazing performance, stunning visuals, and great battery life. So it's not just Tegra 4 and 4i at the show, we're really showing off all of our Tegra products because we're really proud of them. You know, Tegra 2, Tegra 3. What we have here is our Tegra showcase. Closer to the front of the booth, we're showing off Tegra 2 and 3 phones, tablets, like this Nobby Junior we have right here. It, it's got a custom Android user interface that makes it more usable for younger children. And it's got a ruggedized casing with big buttons and a swivel camera that makes it quite kid friendly. Now, another thing that Tegra does is powers our NVIDIA automotive technologies, like this custom dashboard concept we have here. Tegra powers a lot of the infotainment system and a lot of the luxury cars you see out there right now. And this kind of gives you an idea of what that process looks like. So, Tegra 4. We're showing off Tegra 4 here on Tegra 4 reference tablets, and the way we're doing that is showing off a bunch of Tegra enhanced games. We got stuff like Are You Golf, Real Boxing, Carry Blood Mansion, and Zombie Driver. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about Zombie Driver. It's just like the Tegra 3 version, but better. We've enhanced it with extra textures, smoke effects, it's double the zombies, and real-time lighting that gives you dynamic shadows, and that all adds up to an awesome gaming experience. All right, so we're at the Tegra Zone game wall. Behind me, you see a whole bunch of TVs connected to Tegra 4 reference tablets. And what we're doing is we're showing off all these Tegra enhanced games. And the way we enhance these games, we work with game developers to add things like custom blood spatter, extra enemies, custom levels, higher textures, smoke effects, and stuff like real-time dynamic lighting for all these shadows and lighting effects that adds a rich, deep, immersive feel to your games. All right, so that was a quick look at the NVIDIA booth at Mobile World Congress 2013. Make sure to follow all our activities at the show by going to nvidia.com slash MWC 2013. And follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.